Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're today with the Sigma brand of flail mower. This one is the 88 inch, the PHL model. This is the heavy duty series. This particular one is in the offset, and we'll go through that in a minute. It comes standard with the Eurocardan heavy duty drive shaft. The way a flail mower works, it works by centrifugal force swinging out these T-shaped teeth that, that, that are sharpened. And that way, when it slings out, it will go to an equal width all the way around. And this can cut uh, small brush debris. It also will leave a beautiful cut, even though it will cut rough stuff and is very heavy duty, it's still considered to be, to leave one of the best cuts on the market in, of any type of finish mower. They're used on professional ball fields, golf courses, and really nice groomed lawns all around the country. You'll also see them on the side of the road being used when they're using uh, a mower on the side of the tractor mid-mounted, and that's why this would be offset. For a, big, for a large tractor that was using an offset flail in the middle of the tractor, they offset this side of it to be able to not have a gap between the two cuts. So the hitch is offset a little bit to that side. It's extending wider here. Your rear tire would be here. Your side flail would be here. And then you have a little bit of overlap. This particular unit's going to a gentleman that's gonna be cutting around a pond and the offset will let him get closer to the pond and not be in the water and right at the edge of the bank. The way a flail mower works, we're gonna show you on the back of how you adjust the height and the cut of this. But uh, the way of, the flail, the, one of the best things about a flail mower is you get the best of both worlds. You can take it in rough areas where you might would need a bush hog and it leaves a beautiful mode cut on, on good grass. Come on around to the side, Peanut. There's not much to show you on this side. It does have a guard here in case you were to come up against something to protect it a little bit. It is greasable here on the main rotor assembly and it's where your, your four holes are that adjust the roller on the back. Turn us around to the back, Peanut. Has a really heavy duty gearbox. Under this rubber shield, you're gonna see a big round steel roller about this diameter. This mower is meant to roll on that wheel all the time to maintain its, its mowing height to be consistent. And I'm gonna show you how to adjust the, the rear uh, wheel back here and the hitch that, that you just, it's a combination of what it takes to mow level with this. Come on around to the side. It does have some belting here on the back too to keep the debris from flying out if you're near people. This has two, what would be called a match set belt under here with a self tensioner with cast steel pulleys that are machined. Uh, with the tensioner, because it's a belt, if you were to hit something really hard, the belt will take the give and you don't really need a slip clutch or have to worry about it tearing up your tractor such as a tiller would do. So the two things it takes to adjust this mower for the height of cut that you want to cut, one, you're going to adjust this round roller inside of here, which is right back here to let it roll on all the time. And then it's a combination of that adjustment and where you adjust your top link for the angle of your cutter. So what you're doing, your top link is basically holding this whole unit up to be riding on that rear wheel. Come on around just a little bit more. And then what you would be doing is you would, you would remove these, that's good. You would remove these pins here and this would be able to float and you should be somewhere in the middle of this while you're cutting. If you're all the way up to the top and your ground changes, then it's gonna pick the mower up. If you're all the way down, it's gonna let the mower tilt down too far uh, or, or bottom out if the ground changed too much. So when you've got your top link adjusted right, you want the, the mower to be running level, you want your rear wheel to be running all the time down on the ground, and you want your draw bars to be adjusted in about the middle here. You can lock them up if you want for transport or for rigid cutting. This is a category two. It's a very heavy duty unit. It's heavy in general. 
It comes from a 48 inch width all the way to the 88. And this is the 88. It would come in the center or in the offset model on the 88. If you give us a call or an email at Everything Attachments, we'll be happy to help size this for your tractor since they are so heavy and so forth and see if you need the offset unit or not. Just give us a call or an email. We'll be happy to help you with your needs. <music>